Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. And in this video, I'm going to be playing Green Hell. And this game looks very promising. It looks like just the type of game for me. So I'm really looking forward to playing this. And because I'm ambitious as hell, I'm only going to play on normal. <laughs> I was tempted to start hard, but I thought, nah, because it might be very hard. <laughs> and it gives me a chance to play a second season. I'm going to make the first episode in 4K so you can see what I'm seeing. Because doing it in 1080p kills the quality. Is everything all right? Yeah, you can come up. You do know you have the walkie-talkie. You can come up. Just go ahead. I need to find something in my backpack. I bet you want to nap some more. I know you all too well. <laughs> oh, maldición. Can't hide anything from me. Very well. You can catch up, yes? The path leads through that canyon. I know. Oh, uh, have you tied down the boat? Jake, um, I know this might sound stupid under the circumstances. I am glad we came back here. Yeah, I feel you. The yeah, place is beautiful. Still. We can't forget what we came here for in the first place. I know. As soon as we're settled in, I am off to the Jabahuaca village. And what if they will not speak to us? Come on, let's not get ahead of ourselves. You're a phenomenal interpreter. If anyone can communicate with them, it's you. Good thing I have an anthropologist at hand, Dr. Higgins. I don't even know what an anthropologist is. I better research. Okay, this game looks really good. Is it Sunshine or Collusion? Or Collision? I don't know what it's called. Okay, I can't sprint. Not yet, anyway. I've got a big rock. This might come in handy. Oh, that's right. You get the big stone and harvest, and it breaks down the big stone into smaller stones. So optimize space. Because I can't carry it, and there's no point in letting it waste anyway. Well, I can't carry it, I just can't pick up anything else while I'm carrying it, and that's just really annoying if I was to do that. Almost tempted to do a roleplay of this one. Get me Australian accent on. Oh, God, that's even annoying to me. More sticks. More sticks. Again, they're very stranded deep and forest vibe from this game. I assume that's where they got to that inspiration from. I found a camp. Okay, I found the tent. I can still do things while I'm talking to them. Right? Yeah, it's okay. The camp looks impressive. They put up a tent for us. There's even a fire pit. I'm not gonna be a pessimist. Looks like everything's ready. Soul Trail always delivers. At first glance, it looks like we have everything we might need. Perfecto. Liana. Why is it named Liana? Well, that's everything. We're officially <sighs> settled in. You know what that means, don't you? I remember the agreement, but maybe you should... Maybe we should reconsider this. I'm not sure it's the best idea for you to visit them alone. Oh, I'm shitty. Know. It's two. You know, I have to do this. It's the only way to make them talk. Oh, don't worry. It'll be all right. You better pick up some wood. Let's have a romantic dinner. Romantic can be. <laughs> Use your imagination. Pretty sure you can chop it. There we go. Okay, so I've got to build a small fire. So C, craft. No, it's a notebook. I've got to press N. Yeah, this is a problem with 4K. Check this out. The image is too big for the thing. So hopefully I can still play in 4K while doing this. I sort of can. Here we go. Okay, so I've got to make small sticks, so you do that. Honey, I can't seem to find a bag or two. Are you sure you brought everything? Yeah, everything the porter's left. Why? Is anything missing? I'm not sure yet. Uh, huh, but it feels that way. Looks like there's a leveling system. Just about every hit. Is it craft? Harvest. That's probably quicker than actually hitting the stick. So it looks like you got to put small sticks on first. There we go. Chuck these on. Then i got to put normal sticks. Found some normal sticks. Uh, maybe it is easy to hit it. It's just got to hit it right. Miss it doesn't work. Well, looks like everything's ready. Mia, can you bring me a lighter? Um, remember when I mentioned we seemed to be lacking some equipment? Ah, <sighs> don't tell me. Yeah. 
We have no fire. Oh, great one. Uh, not a single lighter, nor box of matches. Uh, we, we ordered both. Did you check everywhere? I did. You need to do it the old-fashioned way. Well, not the best start of the expedition. This woman sounds like a lot of trouble. She really does. <laughs> Cue the feminist outrage. Oh my god, you made the woman a stupid idiot. Uh, so it's just, I think I've got to make a fire starter, which is create a fire starting tool. So I'm pretty sure that's a stick and a small stick. Hand drill. Hmm. I need to find something dry. Bird's nest. There's one over here. Oh, was an egg too. Ah, <gasps> where'd the bird's nest go? <gasps> they dropped. Went through the floor. You nugget. Oh, I found a dry leaf. It's a... Uh, look for the dead leaves on the plants. Like, see these grey ones? They're dry leaves. Keep that in mind. Didn't even know that. There we go. Stupid bird's nest. Dry leaf. Put it on there. There we go. Oh, cool, it does it automatically. You don't have to do that stupid clicking thing like I'm stranded deep. Put the others on. There we go. It's a nice, oh, nice little fire. The fire is burning. Coming. Give me a minute. How do you do it? Hmm? What? You seem so calm. I am calm. I don't know how to explain it, but strangely, it feels safer here. Than she got the rat oh, coming in off the side know. and she's just calm as all hell. Fires, venomous spiders, and snakes. Let's not forget the scorpions. A <laughs> mere ant's bite hurts like hell. I am well aware of that. There it goes. But still, we have a chance to achieve something. Make a difference. At home, all we could have done was be helpless and wait. I prefer the wilderness. It's pretty smart. They've put the smoke in front of her so they don't have to do the mouth animations. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm optimistic. If we're going to find answers, hell, it'll be here. This time, we need to pay attention to the slightest details. Last time, I must have missed something. Last time, you were only making general observations. This time, we have a specific goal. Nonetheless, I'm a bit worried about you meeting the Yabawaka. Yabawaka. Everything will be fine. I need to go alone. We already agreed that's the only way. Besides, they don't seem to like you. They don't seem to like outsiders. They shot arrows at a military chopper. Hard to blame them. Since you published your book, they've been under siege by the media, scientists, doctors. The World Health Alliance established a medical camp and probably performed research, violating the tribe's taboos. But I will convince them. I have to. Damn. Usually humans don't invade with native human species. Like North Sentinel Island. You're not allowed to go there. They're trying to keep people away from it. Oh, so search the tent. What does that mean? Note. I'm at village. Call me with the radio when you wake up. P.S. There's a little gift for you. Love, Mia. Oh, what a sweetheart. Hello, Mia? Hey, sleepyhead. Finally up? You left already? Why didn't you wake me up? You know I hate farewells. Well, I was hoping we'd have breakfast together. You surprised me. That's all. <laughs> Admit it. You thought I forgot your birthday, didn't you? Well, I didn't. Oh, she got me a flash watch. It's a forest VR watch. God, wish I had something like this in the forest. It'd be cool. Oh, exactly what I wanted. It even has solar batteries. And a macro element scanner. Check yourself to see if you're not missing any. We've been here only a few days. But stress can wear you out. Tell me about it. Oh, this is cool. I love this about the game. It's got carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. It's like... That's cool. I'll grab them all. I don't know if I'll eat them all. What do you reckon? What's got food? Num, 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 num. Num, 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 num. What's that? What's that done? Am I full? Yeah, I'm full. Ah, oh, not used to this watch thing. Well rested and well fed. Perfect. And keep it that way. We need that brain of yours working at peak performance. I'll try to take good care of it. Have you found them yet? See. And, as expected, they don't want to talk. 
They behave as if I am not here. But they haven't driven you away. That's a good sign. You need to convince them that you're one of them. That seems to be the right course of action. I will sleep on the edge of the village and only eat what I can find. Just be careful, please. I will. If I am to live like them, we can't be talking so often. God, she's right. just trouble, eh? Suspicious of technology. <laughs> He's going to get this dude into so much trouble. If anything goes wrong, I'll leave the village and get you on the radio. Otherwise, you can assume everything is just fine and there is no need to worry. <sighs> All right, let's focus on the goal. I'll be focusing on indexing new plant species. I think I saw a few new specimen around here. God, that sounds really boring. All right, what do we got here? Emergent layer, canopy layer, understory, undergrowth. Looks like they've done the research. That's pretty cool. What is this? Jaguar, the biggest cat in the Americas. So this is in South America, I'm guessing. Stronger jaws than a lion, they can bite straight through the skull of their prey. Oh, that's lovely. It's a mountain of the forest. <laughs> Hunts both in the forest and in the water. Nowhere is safe. A tribal hunter met a jaguar tonight. He's lucky to be alive. Well, I'm not looking forward to that. <clears throat> what else is there? Rainforest animals, the taper. Harmless behind all the danger, there's still so much beauty within this jungle. Capybara, armadillo. Many small animals are a food source for indigenous locals. Rich in proteins and fats, they are a great complement to fruits and vegetables. Oh, I could imagine dining on an armadillo. Use its shell as a plate. <laughs> the lost tribe. This is their land, their heritage, as it has been for thousands of years. Everyone who comes here needs to respect this. The Charbonneau hunters. It's the same. It's basically duplicated that image off the one of, um, they've taken of North Sentinel Island. It's been three years since we saw them last. They often react with fear to the unknown. Oh, that's normal. It's rational. Humans do feel that way. It's crazy, but we really need their help. Our entire plan depends on it. The Yabahaka. Is it Yabahuka? Living in the deep interior of the Amazon, the Yabahuka is one of the 80 lost tribes. Due to fear of the modern and cruel world, they mostly remain isolated. Will they welcome us? They are the key and the only leaders to why we're here. Really? Ooh, it's a good storyline coming up. Tobacco plant leaves are great at healing venomous bites. Ooh, it's good to know. But what else can it heal? I saw this plant on the north side of the camp after climbing on a rock and there is plenty. It's a good start. Okay, north of the camp. I have to check that out. Skull painted warriors. The mysterious painted warriors appeared yesterday by the river bank as we floated by. Who are they? Our friends the Yabahaka. I was saying that different every time. Seem afraid to talk about them. Ah, so maybe the Yabahaka are good guys. What the hell's going on here? <laughs> nice pouch, mate. All right, so it's enough talking. Let's go exploring. Ooh, scroll of the mouse wheel. Oh, it's got a compass, bro. So the north side, they said there's some tobacco plants. So that's what I might go and do. This is clean water. Good stuff. So, north. Uh, that looks like a dead end. I'll go this way. Oh, there's a rope. Please don't be anything up at the top of this rope. Like that. What do they call them? Jump scare. Grabs your hand just as you're about to go over the top. Oh, I was hoping he would. Nope. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Jeez, dude. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought I did something wrong then. Mia. I know I was supposed to not call, but a line snapped and I fell down a good 30 feet. Just Mia, are, are you okay? I'm not sure. Yeah, it's about 30 feet. Oh, about 20. All right. Let me know once you have checked yourself. Right, inspect your body. Oh, this is cool. Oh, there's a bit of a graze on my arm there. That's definitely not good. Ooh. Right click and you rotate. Wicker, 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 wicker. God, I'm immature. Oh, this is so cool. This is honestly what I wanted the forest to be like. So it looks like he's got his arm, but his feet are okay. I don't feel like dancing. Dancing. All right, that's enough. Uh, it's it's all right. Nothing's broken. Just scratches and bruises. Nothing to worry about. In the jungle, every scratch can be dangerous. You need to patch everything up. Do you remember how to do it? No. I can't 
Say that I remember. Look for Molineria. It has uh, long leaves without any markings and is surrounded by yellow flowers. Mm. Okay, I'll go look for it. You should have it in your notepad. Call me when you've treated your wound. Yeah, I can't read my notepad. Ooh, looks like I already found it. Take that plant. Millennia leaf. Okay, so. Let me guess, I can't read it. Uh, medical. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> I can't read it. I'm at a severe disadvantage here, goddammit. Craft. Okay, so. Craft. What else would you put in it? I oh, don't know. Open the notebook and check the crafting section. I can't bloody see it. Whose idea was it to play 4K? You ignoramus. This is the sort of thing I need to do on a live stream. So people could tell me what to do, because I can't bloody read. Leaf bandage. That's well, just one leaf. Is that it? <laughs> What's a rock and a bandage going to do? Oh, this is stupid. I don't know what to bloody do. I'm going to have to bloody go and find out. I'm going to do some Googling. <laughs> okay, so open inspection. So I had it right. Um, it was the right arm. And then where's the bandage? Oh, I've got to get it out first. You numpty. Oh, you open the backpack here. That's how you do it. This is so fucking cool, man. <laughs> Look at that. I'm the Hulk. Just like 5% Hulk. Rawr, I smashed rock. <laughs> God, I'm an idiot. Here I am. All wrapped up nicely. Does it hurt? Only my feelings. Oh, um, don't be a pussy, man. Much. Like hell. Like green hell. Ah, uh, he said it. Uh. So, how are you doing? I'll be initiated in a few days. I am optimistic. I expect to be treated as one of their own after that. And I should be able to ask some questions then. Some elders are opposed to this, though. Luckily, Chief Kuini is on my side. Why are they opposed? I think they were divided even before I joined them. The Chief wanted to approach the World Health Alliance peacefully, but a few of the elders insisted on fighting. Now, the Jabahuaca basically have two factions. Sounds dangerous, Mia. Be careful. I'm not in any danger. Told you, I'm optimistic. Oh, stupid. Jeez, man. Day 32. That's a bit of a jump. Jake, please come in. Jake, I need you here. Jake, please. Please answer me. That gave me chills. Mia? What happened? Mia, speak to me. Mia, what the hell's going on over there? Jeez. You have completed a tutorial which is part of the story mode that will be available in the full release. As this game is still in development, it features only part of the Green Hell experience. Creepy Jar Team hopes you enjoyed the game. Feel free to leave a comment on the Steam forum. Press space to continue in survival mode. Well, damn straight I'm going to continue because this is freaking cool. Oh, that got my, that gave me chills, mate. I can't wait to play the story of this. This looks really good. Oh, wow. Well, that's enough for one episode. The next one, I'm going to continue on. And if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.